Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me. So, all right, so you saw the beginning, and it's pretty popular these days in a lot of the superhero uh, movies, so I thought I'd have fun with Video Studio and create my own effect. And from that, people said, well, now show me. So here we go, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So first thing what I did, I created one continuous shot, so basically uh, me pretending to land, whoop, and then just walking off camera. Now what I did also as I walked off camera, I left it rolling for a couple of, like another 30 seconds so I can get all this background footage. Now when I posted on Facebook, somebody suggested that the background moved. So if you can avoid it, because you made a good point that it looked a little bit too fake, obviously, um, try not to have the background moving because as you can see, I've got wind blowing on the trees and that's going to spoil the illusion. So avoid that if you can. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to I'm going to cut this in three sections. So the best way to do it is multi-trim my video. So first thing is I don't need all this footage in the beginning. So I just need the point where I'm jumping. So from I'll probably get rid of all the beginning footage. So I don't need this. And then I'm going to trim the first section that I do require. Now just before I land, I'm going to make an edit here so that I create that clip. And then as I land, which is probably about here. I might just, I like the effect where I'm just sinking slightly through the knees. So I'll make my end point there until, until I see myself walking off screen. And then make an out point. And then I'm just going to scroll a little bit further and I'm going to collect some empty footage for the background that I'm going to be using in the beginning of the clip. And that should do it. And so that should now create uh, me jumping, me walking off the screen, and there's just an empty footage. And I'm going to press OK. And that, there you go. All right, so first thing, I don't need these two clips to start with, so I'm just going to move them, you know, just out of the way. And I'm going to drop this onto the overlay track. And I'm going to make sure I've got HD turned on in my preview because I'm going to try now is get a still image from this bit of footage here. So I'm going to go into full screen mode, and I'm just going to look for an image that I can use that this is the part where I'm landing like... Let's have a look. Now, the good thing is uh, it doesn't need to be crisp. I actually prefer it slightly blurry because it will give you that motion uh, motion blur effect. And if, if you don't even have the motion blur effect, then you can always add the motion filter. But let's try and cut out as many steps as possible. So let's see. Yeah, this one looks nice. So I'm going to go edit, snapshot, and then I'm going to go out of full screen view. And I don't need the uh, little clip where I'm jumping because now what I've done, I've created a snapshot. There you go, just like so. So this is now a snapshot. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to mask out the background. To do that, I'm going to need the Boris filter. So let's grab the Boris filter, double click, customs filter, and go into the advanced mode. I don't need the text track, so let's get rid of that. And I'm going to use a spline media track. So click on spline media, which is this one here. And I'm going to go into full screen view. So right click, open tab, and expand. Now all I need to do now is using my scroll or my mouse, mouse wheel here, I'm just going to scroll in and back and forth. My, 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 I'm just confused here. <laughs> and I'll just be a bit further. Now to move around with this, it's quite easy. If I hold down, if I hold down the space bar, you'll see that my cursor turns into a hand. And this allows me to move it freely. And then I can release. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mask around the subject. Mm. Actually, before I do this, let me do something else. I'm going to zoom back out of this. I'm going to go into the fill. I'm going to uncheck fill. And now also what you need to do is change this color. It's most likely black to green. And that's just a matter of clicking on this color fill here and then just choosing green. And once you have that, that's OK. And let's go back in to do the masking. So again, right click open tab and there you go so uh, because I already started all I need to do is see how I highlight it if I hold down the alt key and press highlight the last keyframe I can now keep going with my mask so if you ever make a mistake and you need to do something use the alt key make sure it's gr uh, yellow alt and then you can continue so I'm going to speed this up for you so you don't have to sit there and watch me do the outline because it's quite boring.
All right, so we've done the outline of the subject. Scroll out, and I'm just going to go back into normal view. And what I do there is just I'm using semi column and control, and that brings me back into the default menu. You can also set that up yourself, edit, and then use the shortcuts, and then you can create uh, how you want to do it. And I've done that in in another tutorial, so just watch that. I think that was the last Boris tutorial I did. Anyway, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another spline media. So I'm going to go to Windows, Show Tools, and while it, see how it's still highlighted, I'm going to create another one like so. So that will then sit uh, underneath it. And again, I'm going to uncheck this fill because I don't need it right now. And I'm going to use my Shift key. And, uh, let's go back onto the pen tool. Shift key, click that and then click this at the same time. So now you'll see that both these tracks are highlighted. And from there you go to Tools, Path, Combine, Contours. And if I now turn on the fill, you will see that I have now got a really nice green screen effect and me masked out. So I'm gonna apply that. And there you go. So that's basically how easy it is. <laughs> so all we need to do now is just mask out the green. So let's go mask chroma key. Uh, eyedropper or just really just click here it'll do the same and if you really want to be pedantic eyedropper onto the preview screen and there you go so what we need to do now is just create a custom motion to bring down this uh, cutout so to do that what I did was I dropped this down to uh, another line uh, another track and then I'm just going to use this one here this is where I'm actually landing and walking off screen so I'm going to position it around it like so and then just overlap this ever so slightly and I'll show you why I did that. You don't have to do it this way but it's really really easy. So right click custom motion and what I will need to do first is get rid of this one. So what we're going to do is using the position Y and just hold this down and just shoot it right off the screen like so. Okay that looks fine and then we go to the last keyframe and if I drop the opacity down you'll see the other video coming through. So see how I got my feet. So I know where to gauge this one or where to stop to bring them down. So again, position Y, but now we're gonna go down. So, oops, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna go down. So here we go. Oh, look at that, I got the message. So that should be about right. So I can see where the feed is from the, the, the clip from behind me and then my overlay feed. So if I bring up the opacity again, and then if I scroll through it, you should see that works quite well. Okay, good. And then press OK. And what I need to do now is that clip that I had where it was just empty footage, I'm gonna use that as my main clip. Drop the uh, overlay clip onto that shorten that to same length and then I'm going to bring this one onto my main track as well so if if I did everything correct it should look okay there you go all right so I just need to tweak the the mask and chroma key a bit so I'm a little bit uh, transparent as you can see I'm a little bit not too bad. I just need to push this up a little bit. Sorry, down. I always make that mistake. That looks pretty good. All right. Let's have a look at that. And there you go. See how easy it is? So all we need to do now is obviously speed that up. And the easiest way to do that is just shorten the clip itself. And I... I used about uh, 22 frames and that worked quite well. There you go, let's have a look at that and that should be it. Beautiful. So obviously when you render it out it's going to be a lot smoother than what you see here. And if, uh, if you really want it smooth you can also use the... Yeah, that looks pretty good, right? And there you go my friends, that is how simple it is creating the superhero landing. Bam. And as always, thanks for watching.
attorney and CNN legal analyst. So, Mark, this is going to come down to whether it was self-defense or not. His, um, he. Hmm.